us rejoice. Let us rejoice. I'll say that one more time. Let us rejoice. Amen. Amen. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 If you're able, can we rest on our feet so we can invite the Holy Spirit into this place this morning? Father God, we come right now in the precious name of Jesus, thanking your Father for yet another day, Father God, that wasn't promised to us, but through your grace and your mercy, you have allowed us this day, and we thank you, Father. And right now, Holy Spirit, we invite you in this place. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to come in and have your way. Move from breast to breast, from heart to heart, from side to side, from back to forth. Just have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' most precious name, amen. Let's give God a hand praise. Amen. You, you all can be seated as our choir will bring us now in an opening selection. Praise the Lord, everybody.
appointed to things, you shall receive. No, he is not. As have not seen. we can call on because he's got it. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. It is prayer time in the house. Well, we, we just ask you, uh, if wherever you are, wherever you, if you're sitting there right now and you're in need of prayer, won't you come? Won't you come? Come to the altar. Come to the altar. Whatever you want, whatever you need, there is somebody. Amen. Amen. We want to we want to continue to to lift up uh, those 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 folks on our prayer list, Amen. Who we pray for, pray for every Monday and Friday at the seven o'clock hour. Uh, we want to make sure that we continue to lift them, those folks up, Amen. We want to we want to lift up uh, our pastor and his family as they are uh, on vacation. We want to pray for God's, uh, God's traveling mercy uh, for them. Amen? We want to continue to lift up our brothers and sisters without shelter. I don't know about y'all, but this has been a long, long, long month with heat. Amen? Amen. Not just here in, in Norfolk, but all across the country. So we want to lift up those who, who are unfortunate enough to do not have air conditioning that God will continue to cover them. Amen? And those, those who are, uh, are elderly, uh, who unfortunately, uh, last week, I saw on, on TV, where in a nursing home, they had taken some folks out, and when they got back, they were all under the weather. Some of them were passing out when they got back. Some of them were throwing up just because of the elements. So we want to continue to lift up those elderly, amen? And lift up each other. And lift up each other. Uh, Deacon Charles, will you come and lead us this morning? Amen? Amen. Pray for each other. We all stand in the need of prayer. Amen? Pray, Deacon. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, before we attempt hmm. to intercede for anyone or anybody, search us, God. Yes. Search our hearts. Search our minds. Search us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. And if you will find anything, God, that's going to hinder this prayer for reaching you today, God, cast it out. Cast it in the sea of forgiveness that it would never return mm. to hinder your people. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, I know there are some that are standing here at the altar 
But Father God, I also know that there's some that's not come to the altar today. Yes. And they have a situation of their own. Mm. So God, I ask you to extend your arms. Yes. Not only just for the ones that are here, that's standing here at the altar, but those that are sitting that should be up here. Those that are watching today by virtue, God. Extend your arm, God. Extend your arm. Father God, we just love you. And we thank you for waking us up this morning. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a brand new day. Yes, Father. A day that we can call upon your name and and bless your name for the goodness that you have given us throughout the whole week, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for how you kept your hand on us, God. Yes. We, we thank you for how you went to the hospitals and you stood beside sick beds and you put your hand on those that needed you this morning, God. And you touched their bodies and you moved, you moved in a mighty way. Yes. And we thank you for that, God. Thank you, Father. Yes. We thank you this morning, God, that uh, we're able to just call your name. You said, God, you promised us that you would never leave us. And you promised us that you would always be there. And you are true to your word. We are witnesses for that, God. Yes, yes. And we thank you. Father God, these vessels that are standing here today, God, only you know what they stand in the need of, God. Yes. Jesus, I ask you just right now, Lord, to intercede for them to the mighty God, the Alpha and the Omega, yes. the beginning and the end, the great I am, intercede for, on their behalf today, Jesus. Because yes. you said you can't get to the God, to the Father without coming through you. So we're calling on you today, Jesus. Yes. We're calling on you today, Jesus. Have your way. Yes. Yes. But speak on their behalf. Some might be having financial difficulties. Yes. Some might have mental difficulties. Some might have relationship difficulties. Yes. Some, Lord, may have health problems. But whatever it is, we're calling on you this morning, God. We're calling on you to fix it, God. Fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it yes. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Fix it. Father God, we, we ask you to bless mankind all over the world. Forgive mankind all over the world. We have those that are on our prayer list, God. Yes. We call on your name in reference to them every Monday and Friday. Do it for them, God. Yes. Do it for them, God. Because we know you can. Because you got the whole world in your hand. Yes, sir. All you got to do is blink an eye. And it's done. Then, Father God, we got those that are homeless. That's out here in this heat. Bless them, God. Provide for them, God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we got those that are lost out here in this sinful world. We ask you to move in them, God, that they may come running one day, asking, what shall I do to be saved? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus. The deliverance in the name of Jesus. There's a new beginning. In the precious name of Jesus. 
do it for us, God. Yes. Do it for us, God. Right now, Lord. Move from heart to heart. From breast to breast. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go in this community, God. Go to these homes, Lord. Bless these children and these single parents, God. Give them what they stand in need of. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now, Lord, we ask you to be with our pastor and his family, God. Keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. The same way you tuck them, God, bring them back. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless this man serving today that's going to bring the word. Father God, we know you already done placed a word in him. But let him stand fast and stand erect and preach. Preach with Holy Ghost boldness that we are listening to hear a word from you today. And not only hear it, but be a doer of that word. Hallelujah. Bless our musician today. Bless our choir today. Bless our ushers today, God. The standing. Hallelujah. Bless all our singers today. Keep them safe, God. Hallelujah. When you do this, God, we be so careful. To give your name all the praise yes, Lord. and all the glory and all the honor because it belongs to you. Yes. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Jesus name. And the saints of God say amen, amen, amen. amen. and amen. Hallelujah. Waymaker, miracle amen. worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Say Waymaker. Waymaker, Miracle Promise Keeper. Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, My God, that is who you are. Waymaker. Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness, My God, that is who you are. One more time, the way we make it. Give God a hand for you. How many of y'all know that God is able? Amen. 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 Uh, uh, Saints, uh, if you don't, if you don't believe that God is able, I want you to look over here to to, to your right. I want you to look over to our sister Wanda Bailey. Amen. 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 Y'all, 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 y'all. Y'all do something for me. Amen. 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 Y'all, 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 y'all stand on your feet for me. Stand on your feet for me. Stretch out your right arm over to Wanda Bailey. Stretch out your hand over to Wanda Bailey. Say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We know you're able, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Wanda, we want you to know that we love you, and we know God is able. Amen. Amen, somebody. 
Amen. At this time, we're going we're gonna to have our welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Our welcome. I'm looking for somebody. <laughs> oh, Sheila. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Will all visitors please stand? Good morning. We are so delighted that you have come to worship with us today. We do not take it lightly that you have come to our church. We want you to enjoy yourself and always come back and see us again. On behalf of our pastor and first lady, we welcome you. We will have further remarks from Reverend Ross. Amen. 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 Just, just, just tell us your name and where you're from, sis. Amen, amen, <laughs> amen. But like, like, like our sister just said, on behalf of our pastor and the Mount Lebanon Church family, we welcome you to our service this morning, amen? amen? Amen, thank you, sis. I saw my brother was getting ready to stand. Brother, you've been here more than once. You've been here two or three times. Now we're just waiting on the Holy Spirit to touch you so you come on and join this congregation, amen? <laughs> amen, amen. At this time, we're going to have our announcements by our sister, Ora Lee. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay, I have a few announcements. Um, the MLBC um, family outing is Tuesday, August 1st, the Norfolk Tides versus Charlotte Knights. Game time is 6.30. Kids are free. Tickets $8 per person. Please sign up and pay by today. And um, you can um, reserve your spot in the multi-purpose room following morning worship. Okay, on August 5th, noon to four, we're gonna have a car, the car show, classic and antique cars, food for sale. The Lions Middletown Club will do vision screening and um, that's free. So come out and fellowship and invite someone. The WOW Ministry um, Dessert Potluck is coming up in August. Um, come and join in wonderful desserts and games, open to all. You can bring a dessert of your choice, large enough to feed 10 to 12 people, or you can donate. It's Sunday, August 13th from 11.30 to 1 p.m sign-up sheets are available. So come on out, because you never know what you might see when you get out there. We're going to be doing a lot of things, so please join us. And while uh, we need to save the date for Family and Friends Day, which will be Sunday, September 17th. There will be a conference call for the pew captains on Thursday at 7 p.m., and that's, I think, Thursday is the 3rd. So please be... Um, cognizant of the um, phone the conference call that, like I said, will be for the pew captains. And I'm sure um, Deaconess Sheila will get you the phone contact for the conference call. Okay? Thank you, and you have a blessed week. Amen. Amen. All right. Those are our announcements for this week. Uh, we pray that you govern yourselves accordingly. Amen. Amen. Sister Carolyn, Jean, welcome. Welcome. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to share with you how good God is. I'm going to tell you how good God is. Carolyn, on her way to church this morning, had a, a fender bender. Amen. 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 But look at her. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, Satan, if Satan would do anything to keep you away from God's house. Amen. Amen. But we, we, we know that Sister Carolyn got God in her, and she made her way on anyway. Amen, somebody. Amen. This time we're going to have another selection from our choir, then we'll come back with the word. Is that all right? Amen.
Calvário Onde o rei foi? How many of y'all know that, that we worship God for who he is? Amen? Amen. Now, 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 we praise God. We praise God for what he does for us. Amen? But we worship God for who he is. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Some, sometimes I, I, I look and, and I ask myself, God, am I praising you enough? God, am I worshiping you enough? Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and get started. If, if you have your copy of God's Word, will you turn with me to the book of Romans? The fifth chapter in the book of Romans. I'm, I'm going to start at the first verse, uh, uh, Lenando. I will be reading from the New International Version. Uh, can we please stand in reverence to God's word? Amen. Amen. The fifth chapter of the book of Romans. I see some folks are still turning, so we'll, we'll, we'll be patient. Amen. Amen. From the New International Version, where we, and we find these words. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom uh, we have gained access by faith into th this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given us. Amen? Amen. 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 You may be seated. From this text, from this text. Rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance character and character hope. Amen, somebody. I would uh, like to title this message, There's Hope in Suffering. Somebody hear me this morning. There is hope in suffering. Uh, you, you, you know, church, we go through uh, this life not knowing from day to day.
into prayer, thanking God for his grace and mercy, knowing uh, that it was his grace and love. Amen, somebody. Amen. So, 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 so we wake up with an expectation that everything's going to be fine throughout the day. Uh, but then, uh, sister, the, the, the unexpected happens. Uh, some, something comes in and, and try to steal your joy. Try to turn your, your, your life upside down. Amen. Amen. Try, try, try to take your focus off the one uh, who just blessed you with his grace and mercy. Amen, somebody. Uh, 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 some, someone sitting here right now is going through. Someone sitting right here right now don't know what to do. Uh, 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 I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you just hold on. You just hold on. Because there, there, there is hope. Amen? Amen. Uh, 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 no, nowhere in the, in, in the Word does it tell us that we won't go through. Uh, uh, so you just hold on. Uh, uh, one, 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 thing, one thing we go through as Christians is tribulations or suffering uh, while, while we're on this Christ walk. Amen? Amen, somebody. You, you know, church, uh, uh, it's probably the only thing that, 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 that makes us some, sometimes uh, say or ask the question, why is this suffering? This morning, we want to we take a look at what the Word says about our suffering. Pray with me. You see, church, Paul tells us in Philippians 1 and 29, For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer with him. Amen, amen. amen. I, I, I know that it's not, not in our nature. Not in our nature. I'm not going to say in somebody, there, but not in our nature as, as, as Christians. Amen? To want to, to want to suffer. Uh, hear me, church. Paul considered it pure joy. He considered it a privilege to suffer for Christ. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can see some of y'all. I can see y'all sitting here right now just wondering, what, what, where, where, where is Reverend Ross going with this? Well, let, let me help you out. When we suffer, hear me now, if we faithfully represent Christ, our message and example affect you and those folks around you. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Truth be told, church, there, there are some benefits to our suffering. Uh, uh, Y'all might, might want to write this down. Uh, I, I'm going to take my time because I want you to get this. Amen. First, suffering takes our eyes off of earthly things, off of earthly comforts. Second, it weeds out superficial believers. Amen, somebody. I said it weeds out superficial believers. Third, it strengthens the faith of those who endure. Amen. Amen. It, it, I, I'll say that again. It strengthens, it strengthens the faith of those who endure, those folks who don't waver back and forth. Fourth, it serves as an example to others who may follow after us. Amen. We suffer, uh, when we suffer, it doesn't mean that we have done something wrong. It just verifies that we have been uh, or are faithful in our faith walk. Amen? Uh, 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 let us use our suffering to build our character. Amen. Don't, don't, don't resent it. Don't resent it or, or let it tear you down. Y'all don't hear me. Huh? I, I, I said don't resent it or let it tear you down. Now, 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 don't get it wrong, church. Uh, don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Because Paul, Paul is not saying or urging anyone to go out and seek suffering. Huh? 
Look, 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 look at it this way. If you're at home and your refrigerator is full, share some of what you got with someone in need. Huh? If you are wealthy or, or, or really, really, really uh, well off, give generously to the poor. Come on, help me, help me, come on with me. When life is comfortable for you, share in someone else's pain. Right. Amen. All right, so some, some of y'all still got that look. So we're we going to dig a little bit deeper. Is that all right, Carolyn? Amen, amen. Paul, Paul tells us what Paul tells us right here in our text this morning. Look, 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 look at it. Paul says, but we also rejoice in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Y'all hear me? Perseverance, character, and character, hope. Amen. We, we see, see, we will all experience difficult times, difficulties at, at some point in our lives. But we rejoice in our suffering. Not because we like pain. You hear me, Ronnie? But because we know God is using life's difficulties and Satan's attacks to build our character. Come on now. Uh, the problem, the problem, the problem that we run into uh, uh, will develop our perseverance, which in turn uh, will strengthen our character. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, the, the, these, these problems or tribulations will deepen our trust in God and give us greater confidence and hope about the future. Come on now. Uh, some, of, some of us are, are, are being tested right now. Amen. Some, some, of, some of us uh, are tested every day. Uh, but we ought to thank God for the opportunities to grow and the ability to deal with these, these frustrations, these difficulties in our lives uh, in his strength, not our own. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, let, me, let, me, let me remind you, uh, church. That Paul is not the only writer to tell us uh, uh, about rejoicing in tribulations. Uh, come on, help us out here, Peter. Peter says, dear friends, do not be surprised at, at the painful trial you are suffering, as though something strange were happening to you. Amen? Uh, come on, come on, James. James. James talks to us. He says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters. are going to come. Amen? Amen. But how you deal with those tribulations, see, that's the question. How you deal with those tribulations. Even Jesus, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, he, he told us on, on his Sermon on the Mount, he said, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Jesus says, rejoice and be glad. Huh? Because great, great is your reward in heaven for the same way they persecuted the prophets that were before you. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So some, some, some folks believe, some folks believe that, that, that rejoicing and suffering means that uh, you ought to walk around with this, 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 this grin on your face or, or, or just have this go happy attitude all the time. No matter what, huh? That that you should just be glad when things uh, hit your home, uh, hit your door, and your hearts are hurting. Ah, oh, no, 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 church. Paul, Paul is not saying that. That you ought to. Paul is not saying that you ought to pretend just to be happy all the time. Uh, that when you are around uh, family and friends or other folks, that you that you put on this fake smile. And, and act all happy when you know your heart is hurting. Come on, talk to me. 
I, I, I was talking to Pastor last week, and, and he opened my eyes to something I, I never really thought about. Uh, we were talking, uh, uh, and he said about Christianity is never phony. Uh, amen, somebody. Uh, see, see, phoniness, phoniness is, is, of any kind is a false Christianity. Amen, somebody. See, see, I, 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 I realize uh, you not be, may not be able to rejoice as soon as, or right then when this tribulation comes your way. But look at how the writer tells us in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, the 11th verse. He says, no discipline. Here it is now. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, <laughs> hear me now. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace. Amen. So, so, amen, somebody. So, so we know right at that moment, we are not going to feel like rejoicing. Amen. Rejoicing in this suffering. See, some, some folks may ask the question, well, Reverend Ross, how do we get, uh, how do we get to or come to that place in our lives where we can rejoice in suffering? Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. Paul tells us right, right here in our text. He says, rejoice in suffering because we know, because we know something. It's not because it's a feel good, it feels good to be hurt or in pain. Paul says, because we know. Y'all didn't catch that. And he says, because we know. Because we know that suffering produces, look at that. Look at that. Paul says, because we know that suffering produces. Amen? Uh, amen, somebody. So, so uh, suffering accomplishes something. Y'all don't hear me. It, it, it's productive. And that's what makes us rejoice. Amen? amen. Uh, I, I, remember, I remember some of you ladies uh, are going to get this. I remember being in the delivery room with all five of my children. And I tell you, I really have a special appreciation for what you ladies go through. <laughs> amen, amen. The, 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 the pain, the pain that you have to endure. But even with the pain, there's joy. Huh? <laughs> amen. Even with the pain, there is joy. Because you know that you are producing a child. And the pain was well worth it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. I, I, I know you brothers. Okay, Boston. Brother Lonnie, I know y'all looking at me. Y'all y'all saying, hey, thank God for the women. Amen. Amen. Because you know, Deke, we couldn't go through that. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Paul, Paul says, Paul says, suffering produces perseverance. So no matter what you're going through, uh, he says you should have, you should have you have to be persistent in doing, no matter what, or no matter how difficult this thing is or how long it lasts. James says, consider it pure joy. He says not to pretend to be happy when you're in pain or in difficult times. When we suffer, we look to God. We notice him. Amen? Amen. And it becomes more evident that he's working in our lives in whatever situation we find ourselves in. Uh, yeah, church, the process can be long, but waiting produces patience. Amen? Amen. Patience develops into a steadfast determination called perseverance. Y'all didn't hear that. Patience develops into a steadfast determination called perseverance and before you know it dig bam there it is hope shines all in your life come on now amen somebody you see you see hope 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 when we break it down is a confident and joyful expectation in suffering y'all hear me i said i said hope 
it, it, when, we, when we break this down, is a confident and joyful expectation and suffering. See, we, 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 what we do, we anchor ourselves and our hope in Christ, uh, who is the author and source of our hope. Amen? You see, hope never fails. Hope never disappoints. Come on now. So God, God generously does something special in our lives during times of suffering. He shows up and does something special in our hearts. God, God shows up and smooths the rough edges. Amen. God shows up and let us know that he's with us. Amen. Amen. So in our suffering, we don't have to worry. Because we know there is a God. Amen, somebody. See, see, see. Amen, amen. God, 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 God enables us to see others in, in need and, and relate to their suffering. You hear me, Sister Carolyn? God enables us to see others in their need and in their suffering. God helps us to turn our focus uh, uh, from inward to outward, from self to neighbor. Amen. Uh, yes, my brothers and sisters, and suffering, when hope wakes up in us, you hear me, Ronnie? It is because we know that God is with us and working for us. Amen. 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 It may be hard at times, but the results far are outweigh the pain. You hear me, Wanda? Amen. Amen. Our confidence is then unshakable because we know that God will always be there for us. Romans, Romans 8 and 28 tells us. And we know that it, all things work for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. So let trials and tribulations teach us perseverance. Let the love of God teach us in all things. Uh, he, will in, he will turn your problems into privilege. Uh, your burdens into blessings. Your cares into comfort. Amen, amen. Your headaches into happiness. Yeah, we, we, we take on our suffering and tribulations because they make us better, not bitter. Amen. They make us stronger, not weaker. Amen. They, they make us richer and not poor. Amen, somebody. So, 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 so what if? So what if problems shake our soul? circumstances uh, try to block our goals. Satan tests our faith. Oh, I got some good news for you, saints. All that does, it draws us closer to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 all that does, all that does, it draws closer to him. And he said, this, Jesus said, uh, uh, we can come to him if we humble ourselves under his mighty hand. Uh, he said that he would take care of all of our cares. He would take care of all of our worries, all of our concerns. All we have to do is give them to him, and he will take care of them. Amen? Amen. I, I, I know that's shout news right there. Ain't that right? That's shout news right there. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Let's give God a hand praise. Let's give God a hand praise. Amen. Amen. So, so, so church, we don't matter what. There is, there is hope in our suffering. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's give God another hand praise. There may be somebody right here. There may be somebody right here who is going through. Somebody right here who haven't uh, found themselves a church home. The doors are open. And won't you come? The doors are open. Won't you come? Amen. 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 If you're sitting there and the word has touched your heart and you don't know what to do, won't you come? Amen. Somebody
Bible tells us that if we confess with our mouth, Jesus is Lord. Amen. And believe in our hearts that God did raise him from the dead, that he shall be saved. Won't you come? Amen. Amen. Let's give God another hand praise. Amen. Guess what, church? It's offering time. Amen. It's offering time. It is offering time. Won't we stand? It's offering time. Praise the Lord. It's time to bring our tithes and offerings. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. To whom does the tithe belong? Who should tithe? Every one of us should tithe according to how God has prospered us. Why should we tithe? Because God has a claim on our heart and the church needs resources to minister. Uh, how much should we tithe? What kind of giver does God, because the Lord love? God loves the cheerful giver. Amen, amen. amen. Uh, ushers, won't you lead us? Amen. Uh, Sister Aura has a presentation.
to present. And Amen. And a donation from Vivian Carlton in Brooklyn, New York. She is one of our Bible study members, and she's given a donation to the church. Amen. Amen. Can we all stand? Almighty God, we thank you for the monetary offering. Bless each and every person that give. Bless each and every person, that, anybody that couldn't give on this time. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And continue standing as we go do our benediction. You know, we thank God. We thank God in our suffering. Amen. amen. Hey, so remember, no matter what we go through, no matter what we go through, there is a God. We never have to go through any, any of our suffering or pains alone. Amen? Amen? So you just hold on to God's unchanging hand, and he will lead you and guide you in every step of our suffering. Amen? Amen. 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 Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his holy and with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen? Amen. 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 And amen.